Rune Pier, and this is Pokemail from my lovely friend, my Pokemon card UK. Um, he was very, very kind enough to drop by McDonald's and pick me up a pack, and he sent his old one of the uh, cardboard stuff. And it seems a pack, or pack, empty pack. Um, anyway, that's a cute. Sylveon sticker as well. Wants to come out with oh, the plastic. Okay. So the head. Cute Sylveon sticker. And this is his card. It says enjoy. Find he eats like no. Yep. Um find him on the My Pokemon Cards UK on Instagram. And this is a Force of Will card. Huh. Oh it's hollow. And it's a what is it? An elder last of the oh and it's a zombie. Yeah. Looks kind of like a vampire too, though. Still creepy looking. Anyway, that's cool. Oh, it's actually not an empty pack. It's an actual pack pack. A full pack, unopened, sealed. Whichever other words you can use. Lovely. This is the pack art for that. Match battle. Okay. So this is his his one that he had. He's got a smear goal on that. And it's got a cardboard coin. I guess he well it's got a smear goal on, on there as well. Smeagol there. So I'm guessing somehow you're supposed to make a spinner out of this. I don't even know what they mean. But it shall be interesting. Let's see what the instructions say. If I can get it out. <laughs> What does it say? <clears throat> Let's play match battle. So, yes, I see. Maybe. <laughs> so you got the three pieces. This piece, this piece, and that piece. So you're supposed to... Fold them in around the triangle bit. You put one end in this bit, and the other end you stick this bit and push it down. And that's how you twirl it. Okay. Very simple, like a spinner, I guess. Let's see. <clears throat> and each player card max four players per pet. Youngest player goes first, then you play continues in a clockwise direction. Oh. Made your card cover just now. Okay. Let's put up with that kind of dark video at the moment. Um flip a coin to see whether high or low. So high is the pictured end, low is the pokeball end. Then you spin to choose the category. So, review trading cards. All players reveal the numbers from the spinner card. From their spinner card. Wait, what? Hang on. All players reveal the numbers from their card that match 
the chosen category on the spinner. Remember the highest or lowest number wins. <coughs> A prize point depending on the coin flip from set 2. Tied players all get a prize point. Play continues to the next player repeating steps 2 to 4. First player to win 3 prize points wins. Ah, I see. So if you flip a coin and it lands on high, the highest number wins. I get it. So let's see what the categories are then. Ah. One is a heart, so I guess it should be obvious. That's the HP hit points. Number two is the weight. I guess that does make sense. Though scales like that, kind of, I'd probably use a uh, like a a weight weight, like one of those rectangle things with a loop on the top to symbolize a weight instead of a scale. It doesn't really... Eh, well. Number three, we've got a Pokedex number. Number four, you got a height. Okay, I, I understand that picture now. Number five, you got the card number. Oh, mm. then number six. The direction of play is reversed to the previous player. Okay, that's... All the symbols on here. I get it. Interesting. That is pretty interesting. Now, let's see what's in mine. I didn't put the tray thing under it, so it's not very straight, this, uh, this bed here. So, let me just put these back in here for a second, so I don't lose them or nothing. Okay, so... What do you, I guess, have two packs to open? Um, this is a new one, right? So there should be a pack in here, maybe? Oh, that was part of the pack, and let it... Uh, so I guess the pack comes outside of the bag? I don't know anymore. Huh, so we've got Rowlet. Also, this came with this. But, or something. I don't know anymore. Anyway. Yes. So this is orange. The other one is green, I guess. To go with the end. color scheme of the packet, I guess. So, well, technically now I don't even know which one this came with, but anyway. we got these two, so I guess one of them was new one, one of them is it? I don't know. But this, I guess, he put in separately so it didn't get Crunched article. Let's see if we can take a proper picture of this now. I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully the camera does not fall while it's leaning on me. And I hope I'm actually getting this in the front here. Interesting. It's not like the plasticky. Interesting material. It's not like completely paper, or it's just coated paper. It's not the normal plastic yet. Hmm. Interesting. So we've got Cutify, Flaffy, Ladybug, and a Hollow Smearle. That's escaping, leaving a trail of paint. Which isn't very productive if he's trying to escape, is it? Let's see. 
the attack and live painting. Reveal any number of basic energy cards from your hand. This attack does 30 damage more damage. 30 more damage for each type of basic energy you reveal in this way. Well, that's useful if you have a hand of energy. Well, basic energy. Or normal energy, whatever you want to call it. Alright, that's. That's nice. You can see the paint trail better when it's highlighted on. It's a very nice, uh... I'm not really sure what hollow you'd call that. It's... It's like... Maybe confetti, kind of? I'm not really sure if it has a name. Anyway. Those are the cards. Nothing really to, to write home about, as they say, but... Nice. So the cards are completely random, and it'd be very ironic if that came with the Smeargle pack. But yes. Well... It is made to be recycled. Made for McDonald's 2022. Recycle. Become a Pokemon trainer and challenge your friends and family in the Pokemon trading card game Match Battle. Find Pokemon friends like Pikachu, Rowlet, Growlithe, and more, and send them into a match of coin flipping, spinning, and fun with number numbers. The last trainer with a Pokemon in play gets to claim the victory. When you're ready for more fun uh, games with Pokemon TCG cards, you can ask your parents' permission to visit tcg.pokemon.com forward slash how to play to find out more. Huh. You can tell it's a Happy Meal toy when it says get your parents' permission. <laughs> anyway. I mainly wanted one, so I can have like, one bit of it in my collection, you know. And, <clears throat> the pack art for my Pokemon scrapbook. And also this, the, uh, the other art, like bits here. I'll, uh, cut out the front bit, I'll save the McDonald's sticker. And maybe save the back. Because I'm just weird like that. But yes. That's everything here. <laughs> Though as I said, it would be so ironic if that pack actually came from this pack. I don't know if it came from that pack or that pack. But still. Very lovely. So do go check out. My Pokemon Cards UK for more stuff. And they have loads of cool cool stuff on their page too. And he does loads of cool artworks as well. It's very cool. Anyway. That's it. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. Little notifications over it.